Hello, and welcome to Silvar Technologies Emerald Ash Borer Monitoring Training. Today we're going to talk about the products that are included in your full package, which are the trap, the lactone lure, and the hexanol lure, as well as all assembly components. We're going to talk about how to put it all together, how to get it up into the tree, and then ultimately take it down at the end of the trapping season. To give you a brief background on our company, Silvar was founded in 2006. Initially as a forestry company for producing baculoviruses, we've expanded our line into both forestry and agricultural baculoviruses, as well as pheromone lures and biostimulant products. Our full lineup can be found at www.silvar.ca. Product information. First we'll start by talking about our Silvar Green, which is our green prism trap. It's UV resistant and made of heavy duty corrugated plastic. With the trap, we include a galvanized steel hanger and a galvanized steel trap spreader to ensure the best possible chance of your trap remaining in the tree throughout heavy winds and difficult weather conditions. Next, we have our Affinity EAB lure, part of our Affinity pheromone lineup. The 3Z lactone lure is the female sex pheromone for Agrilis planipennis, or emerald ash borer. We load it with three milligrams of our compound and the rubber scepter release device ensures a steady release throughout the season, attracting in our male EAB. Our Cicery Hexanol Lure is the host tree volatile attractant. It tricks our emerald ash borer into believing that the tree is under extreme duress and thus gives him another reason to stop by. We load it with five mils of the compound in a plastic pouch with a craft paper release device. Assembly instructions. Step one, remove the trap from the packing box. Remember that traps are packaged in pairs with the sticky side facing in. Peel the traps apart. At this point in the process, you may want to wear gloves as we don't mess around with our sticky solution. Step three, fold the trap into a prism with the sticky side facing out and line up the tabs with their corresponding slots as shown in the picture. Our next step, you want to insert the tabs into the slots, then insert zip ties into the holes at the top of each slot. Secure the ties. Next, you want to attach the hanger to the trap spreader by feeding the hanger clip through the hoop at the top of the spreader. Attach the trap spreader using the three small holes located at the top of the trap in the center of each panel. Next, you want to pierce the three Z lactone septa with the safety pin. You also want to do the same with the hexanol pouch. Make sure that you do not pierce below the sealed line. If that ends up happening, you will release at a much higher rate and the efficacy of the trap will be significantly affected. Attach both lures to the loop below the wire spreader. And that's it. It is that easy to put together your traps and you're ready for the field. Hanging instructions. First things first, gotta prepare safely. You wanna wear a hard hat, safety glasses, steel toe boots, and of course, latex gloves. Next, you're gonna to wanna to bring a modified telescoping pole with you. That is our number one recommendation. A telescoping pole with any makeshift or MacGyvered hook at the end will help you get that trap into the tree. For those feeling a little more adventurous, you can go with the slingshot method or several other alternate preferred hanging methods. For more questions on different ways of getting the trap into the tree, just give us a call at Silver. Next, you're gonna to wanna to hang the traps in the mid to upper canopy on the south facing side of the ash tree. You're gonna to wanna to try to hang the traps on a thick branch, usually one inch thickness or greater to avoid potential breaks during the season. Carefully record the location of each trap. It's easy enough to forget where you put these things and at the end of the season, you wanna make sure that you take full advantage of your entire arsenal of traps. We're just going to show you a quick hanging example here with a modified telescoping pole.
As you can see, the telescoping pole is hooked through the hoop at the top of the hanger, giving the hanger full access to get onto that nice thick branch that you see. Patience is key as it may take a couple of tries, but at the end you have trap in a tree and you're ready to go. Takedown instructions. Again, you're gonna to wanna to go with the same safety equipment, hard hat, safety glasses, latex gloves, throw on those steel toe boots as well. Use your modified telescoping pole, ladder, or other required equipment. Carefully remove suspect EAB and place them in a dry vial. Then you wanna contact your local CFIA branch for further instructions. Properly dispose of your trapping materials. Use plastic sheeting or alternatives for transport, as even at the end of the season, you're gonna be dealing with a very sticky mess. Carefully record your findings as per location and number of specimen. Now we'll go through a couple of frequently asked questions. Number one, how do I store my trapping materials? For the lactone and hexanol lure, you are going to optimize your storage and life of the lure by storing in a freezer or minus 18 degree temperature. For your green prism traps, they can be stored at room temperature. What are the release rates of the lures? The lactone releases at 50 micrograms a day, while the hexanol releases at 50 milligrams per day. When should the traps be hung? There is no one-size-fits-all answer. Depending on your geographic location and management plan, the trapping window will vary slightly. The best generalized answer in the North American context is between May and August. How high should we place the trap? This is gonna vary from tree to tree, but as you can see, we're going in the upper half of the canopy uh, and this tree is an example, we're in the 20 to 30 foot range.